The Permatex Professional Windshield Repair Kit makes permanent airtight repairs on most windshields. Bullseye, star damage, and chipped windshields up to one and one quarter inches can be repaired in minutes with a state-of-the-art repair system. Repairs should be performed in shaded areas on windshields that are not hot to the touch. Optimal windshield temperature is between 50 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important that the resin not come in contact with the car's finish or painted surface, as this may cause damage. First, use the enclosed push pin to clean any loose pieces of glass from the damaged area. Next, use the alcohol towelette to clean around the damaged area, both inside and out. It's suggested you place a cloth near the bottom of the windshield to catch any resin that may flow down from the repair area. Peel the backing from one side of the adhesive disc. With a tab pointing upward, line up the hole in the adhesive disc with the center of the damage. Apply the adhesive disc to the windshield, making sure the entire disc makes contact with the windshield. Check the underside of the disc from inside the vehicle to make sure there are no air bubbles. It's very important to have a clean, air bubble-free seal with the adhesive disc. Next, peel off the backing from the other side of the adhesive disc. Line up the tab on the pedestal with the tab on the adhesive disc and press firmly, making sure there are no air bubbles and there is a tight seal. Remove the cap from the resin tube. With the tip away from your face and the painted surfaces of your vehicle, cut off approximately one-eighth of an inch to open up the tube. Place the stem of the resin tube into the pedestal opening and carefully squeeze the tube to load resin into the pedestal. You should apply approximately three-fourths of the resin into the pedestal. Clean any residual resin from the tip of the tube, replace the cap, and save the remaining resin for future use. Next, make sure the plunger is pushed all the way into the syringe and carefully and gently twist the syringe into the pedestal. The fit between the syringe and the pedestal should be quite tight. Holding the syringe with one hand, gently pull the plunger upward with the other hand to the second lowest indent setting. Lock it in to the lowest indent setting by turning the plunger indent into the clip. The spring clip system will secure the plunger in place. This action acts as a vacuum, throwing the air out of the brake, leaving the resin with no air pockets. Allow the entire assembly to sit for 10 minutes. Waiting 10 minutes allows time for the resin to settle and displace any remaining air pockets. After 10 minutes, temporarily remove the syringe from the pedestal, making sure the plunger remains in the lowermost indent setting. This allows air into the syringe. Keeping the plunger in the lowest indent setting, carefully replace the syringe by twisting the syringe back into the plunger as before. Holding the syringe with one hand, with the other hand, twist the plunger out of its lowermost indent setting and gently push the plunger down into the uppermost indent setting. Twist the plunger, locking it into place, and allow the entire assembly to sit as is for at least 20 minutes. This action forces the resin into the damaged area. After 20 minutes, remove the syringe from the pedestal. Carefully use the safety razor to loosen the outer edges. Then slowly remove the pedestal and adhesive disc from the glass. Wipe off any residual resin from the glass. Remove the cap from the resin tube and carefully apply a bead of resin into the hole of the damaged area. Place the yellow curing strip over the damaged area to hold in the resin. Remove any air bubbles by using the safety razor to lightly smooth over the curing strip. Move the vehicle to direct sunlight and let it sit in direct sunlight for 15 minutes. The resin will cure with natural UV sunlight. On cloudy days, at least one hour of cure time will be required. Once the resin has cured, carefully remove the curing strip by peeling it away from the windshield. If the surface of the glass is uneven, use the safety razor to remove any excess cured resin. Clean the windshield one more time with the alcohol towelette. In some cases, the repair may not completely remove the blemish. However, the damaged area will be repaired, keeping the break from spreading. If you have questions about this or any other Permatex product, please visit our website at www.permatex.com or call 187-PERMATEX.